Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Cross watchers are welcome. If you would like to check out my other channels, um, I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. And then I've got my main channel, Tarot of Light. The links for all of those are below. Readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it, bend it over, smack it in the ass. Take what resonates, leave the rest. Make it yours and leave what doesn't work for you, okay? Uh, be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced. Um, I give away two four-question text readings, uh, hashtag reading for that. I give away two $50 prizes. Just post a positive affirmation or something that you're grateful for for that. Um, what else? I give away a mystery crystal box, so hashtag crystals for that. It is cancer baby season. Happy birthday, my babies. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday. So for cancer baby season, I'm doing $10 off on phone readings. Um, Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle are on sale for $22.22 plus shipping. You can find that on my website, um, and that is for the set. That's for both of them. Um, I'm doing mystery crystal boxes for $22.22. It's a pretty decent sized box, guys. You got a lot of crystals for 22 bucks, okay? Um, and what else? That's it. So I do phone readings. I do text readings. Right now for phone readings, I am a little backed up, I guess, due to the sale that I'm running, okay? So if you need the reading right away, I would recommend text readings, or you could also do a video reading I do pre-recorded video readings also. If you've been wanting to purchase a Raven's Rose Oracle, this was out of stock for a long time. It is back on my website. All the links for that are below, okay? Guys, I am in my pajamas today. It is Sunday, and I have no time for pants today. It's We're not doing pants. It's Sunday, okay? Um, I was trying to make it where I didn't work on Sundays, where I had one day off, but this week has just been too, <laughs> it's been too busy. Um, all right, so what am I grateful for today? I'm grateful for my cancer babies, my puppies, my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, and abundance. All right, my loves, let's see what fuckery is afoot today, shall we? Okay. Um, Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Okay, so we've got Meddler. We have Meddler. And we've got unavailable. Interesting. Tell me about cancer, please. Tell me about cancer. We've got resentful and we've got winter. We've got home and we've got messages. Cancer, I got to keep it real with you here. I think that there is someone here that can't get your name out of their mouth. I feel like we've got someone here that's very resentful, very triggered that you have gone cold on them. Um, this person could be a Scorpio, Sag, Capricorn, Aquarius, maybe even a Pisces, but doesn't have to be. I feel like cancer, you're home and you're comfortable and you're at peace. And I don't know for the, for the cancers that I'm reading for, it's like, you've gotten very comfortable just enjoying your own company. Your home is very cozy right now. And you're, you're getting a lot of messages from someone here that is very resentful that you are no longer giving a crap about them. Okay. With unavailable here. It's like this, it's like you're sitting in an energy of, you know, I just, I don't care about people. I don't care about their problems. I don't care about what you're going through. It's kind of like an energy of you taking your power back cancer and it's making this, it's triggering this person. It's triggering their insecurities. This is someone that's very envious of your peace and they want to antagonize your life. This is someone that gossips about you behind your back. They like to create problems and chaos in your life because your life is too peaceful. Your life is peaceful. So what they want to do is just basically dump their problems on you all the time. 
I had to take these rings off because for some reason they're just too big today. And they're like moving all around and it's annoying me. Okay, what else do we have here for cancer? What else do we have here for cancer? We've got tired. Yeah, cancer, I feel like, you know, you're you're just in an energy where maybe you're feeling a lot of, a very overwhelmed, where a lot of people are wanting your time and energy. And I don't think that it's so much an issue of you coming into a place of, oh, I just don't give a shit about people anymore and I don't want to help them. It's just that, you know, these people want you to be there for them and for their problems, but they don't even want to help themselves. So it kind of feels like you're just wasting your time. You know, and again, this could be love, friend, or family cancer. You're tired of like, you know, just opening your heart, giving people your time, energy, and attention just for them to tell you with dominant and toxic here, okay, I hear you. I hear you. I see what you're laying down, but I'm not going to pick it up. Do you understand? I'm toxic and stubborn and I want to stay in this energy, okay? I want to stay in this energy. I live a toxic lifestyle and what I want is for things to go back to the way they were where, you know, you just sit here, open your heart to me, you know, listen to my problems, help me with my problems, do everything you were doing before while I continue with my toxic lifestyle. For instance, cancer, if this is someone that, you know, had a drug habit or something along those lines, right? Uh, this could potentially... Wow, my camera is really moved. Hang on, guys. I just realized that. Okay. Um. Anyway, so this could potentially be an issue of like, let's say someone here has a drug habit, right? And you've been trying to get this person to understand that they're wasting their life, whatever the case may be. You've put a lot of time, you've put a lot of energy into this. But this person just doesn't want to see that they're wasting their life. Or there's an ex here that you're really trying to quote unquote fix them or just someone in your life that, or it could be multiple people, okay? Um, you just have one or more people around you and I think that cancer, you're just throwing in, what is it, the white towel? You're throwing in the white towel, you're just done with it. Because at the end of the day, your life is too peaceful. That That's the key here. Do you understand? It's very imbalanced. It's not like you've got drama and you could spew your drama onto these people. And then, you know, they've got drama and they call you with their drama. It's just you taking on a shit ton of drama and problems and people calling you and people wanting shit from you and not really getting any relief in return because you don't have any problems to spew on these people. Do you understand? You don't have any problems um, to spew on these people. I do feel like cancer, there is a little bit of a warning here. Cause I do feel like these people want to reconcile with you, but they're spiteful. They're, they, they're spiteful. This is a very bitter individual. They feel scorned over the fact that you're putting your peace above them. This is someone that may want revenge. We've got res resentful and spite here. This is someone that may want to do something to try to get back at you because you were so quick to push them away. It's like, it's not like you're not willing to help people, Cancer, but if you want to stay swimming in the ocean of toxicity, I'm here with a boat and I'm ready to pull you up and get you out of here, but you just want to, you're over there backpedaling and just you know, soaking up the toxic ocean, you know, that's not my problem. You know, I pulled up in a boat, I'm ready to take you out of that toxic, you know, place, but you just want to sit there and, you know, swimming in the toxic ocean. So what do you want from me? You know? So cancer, I think that that's the vibe here. Look, we've got offended and we've got rage cancer. There's someone here that's in a bad mood. I'm telling you right now, there's someone here that is in a bad mood because you are putting your peace as a priority. Please be careful, Cancer, because with spells and near future, for those of you who were dealing with somebody that does know how to do spell work, they may get aggravated enough to do something to you, okay? This is not going to be for everybody because, I mean, you would know who would do something like this or not. So if this friend, that's not for everybody, you take it as it resonates, okay? Um if you're this friend, ex, family member, whoever this is, if they dabble 
in the metaphysical, if they dabble in, in that realm, they may potentially try to put a little something, something on you to teach you a lesson. Spirit, tell me about cancer. Spirit, tell me about cancer, please. Five of pentacles. Yeah, cancer, you're, you're over it here. Nope. I don't see you giving money, time, attention to nobody. You are shutting your door. Queen of swords here. Like, listen, my guy, my girl, uh, I, I'm, it's, I'm done. Like, I, I don't want to do this anymore. I'm done. We've got the Ace of Cups. We have the Star card here, Aquarius Energy. We have the Seven of Cups. And we've got the Magician, Virgo Gemini Energy. Cancer, I'm kind of getting this vibe here of the world is your oyster. Like we've got, what, a bazillion, gil, bagil, bazillion people walking around the world? Do you really think I need to deal with this shit? There's got to be someone out there that doesn't have all these problems, right? It's kind of like, the, you know, the world is your oyster here. And you could really do whatever you want, Cancer. You know, you could manifest anything that you want. Some of you may have, uh, may be getting into or currently have a job where you can work remotely and you're deciding to do that with the star card here. I don't know. I'm just kind of getting a vibe of maybe some of you deciding to, you know, spend, if you do work remotely, like spending the summer out and traveling, looking up at the stars. So that would mean that you're away from the city. Okay. For others of you, you could be traveling, you could be dating, you could meeting, be meeting new, new love interests, you could be meeting a new friend group. This is you cutting off the ball and chain, cutting off whatever was holding you back from achieving what you've been manifesting. There's something here, Cancer, that you've been manifesting for, I want to say anywhere from the past year to year and a half okay there's something that you've been manifesting and it has been this person or these people that have been keeping you from moving forward tell me about cancer the seven of swords just wanted to come out tell me about cancer man why the Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Hang on, guys. Y'all got me doing acrobatics on a Sunday morning. I can't. Dog here. Okay. So, uh, Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Codependent energy. Codependent energy. So, Cancer, the, this person or these people need you for something. Whether it's finances, whether it's your energy, they are codependent. It's almost like an addiction for them to either contact you every day uh, and throw their problems on you or you know anytime they've got financial difficulty to call you this is someone that is addicted to your energy or it could be that they just have addictions of their own this is someone that can't seem to stand on their own two feet the queen of wands here the three of wands and the devil okay for some of you this could be a romantic interest that really has nothing to offer anybody. But then again, at the same time, they can't stop cheating. They can't stop doing drugs. They can't stop living a toxic lifestyle. Okay. For others of you, this could be a friend or a family member that is always broke or is addicted to some type of lifestyle. Okay. Um, someone here could be a womanizer or there could be a woman here that's very promiscuous. Okay. Okay. Like, let's just say, Cancer, you've got a girlfriend that's complaining all day long that they can't find love, but then again, all they do is drink, get high, and have casual sex left and right. Like, I'm not saying that that's wrong. You know, you guys can choose to live your life any way that you want, but, you know, the chances of you acting that way and finding, you know, Prince Charming is probably a little slim. And I'm not saying it can't happen, but it's probably a little slim, right? 
And the same goes for my, you know, for my men out there. If you've got a guy friend that's complaining constantly about these, you know, hoes, whatever. But then again, they keep going around very toxic people. It's almost like you just can't help yourself. No matter how much, you know, I do for you here, you know, whether it's love, family, friend, you're just moving towards toxicity. Okay. And I feel like, Cancer, you do feel bad with the Ten of Cups and the Five of Cups. Um, it's almost like we're dealing with someone here that if this is love, if this is a love cancer, they would have the ability or they've got qualities that would make them an amazing partner, but they choose to operate from their shadow, okay? If this is a friend or family member, it kind of breaks your heart because you want the best for this person, but they keep making wrong decisions, okay? But, uh, you know, there is also a sense here of you enabling this individual, okay? You enabling this individual to do this lifestyle. For instance, if you're in a relationship and your person keeps cheating or keeps doing drugs or keeps doing really negative stuff, if they're abusive and you keep forgiving it, you're enabling. You're telling, you're teaching that person that it's okay to not just treat you that way, but to treat other people that way, okay? You're enabling. Tell me more about cancer. Tell me more about cancer. We have the two of pentacles. We've got the page of swords. We've got the ace of wands. We've got the hanged man, Pisces energy. We have the eight of pentacles. And we've got temperance, Sag energy. Cancer, I think that with this two of pentacles energy here, you've been juggling a lot. Okay, like I said, there might be more than one person doing this to you, but there is an awareness with the Page of Swords that if this is a love interest, maybe they're never going to stop cheating, but you know, they're always going to have someone else on the side. If this is a friend or a family member, you're realizing here that you're just doing too much. The Two of Pentacles can talk about juggling multiple things in your life. You have to take care of your own life. You have to take care of this person's problems. And I think that with the Hanged Man and the Ace of Wands, you know, the Hanged Man is suffering, sacrificing until that light bulb goes off and I think that it's going off here cancer I think that with the ace of wands and the ace of cups I think that you're taking off and with the eight of pentacles here and temperance I think that you're worrying about your own peace your own prosperity and your own healing this could be new love and this could be new career coming towards you. It could even be a new place to live. It could also be traveling with that ace of wands it could be new friendships okay so um, we're already at 18 minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and take it into the extended. Let's see what's coming in for you in love and in money. And we'll do a quick reading on whoever this is, you know, love, friend, family member. Are they out of your life for good? And for those of you who care, what is going to happen to them? Okay. All right. The link for the extended is in the description box below and in the comment section below. I love you guys so very much. And I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.